All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Mind Show Publishers, where we live that passive income life one idea at a time. If this is the first time you're joining my channel, thank you for joining and you've picked the perfect time to join this channel because we're talking about a Start Your Business series. Each one of these videos that we're doing right now is something that you need to do in your process to get your business off the ground, running and making a profit. So if you haven't checked out the first two videos in this series, take the time to go back and look at those because I'm sure it's going to be something that could be very helpful for you. But if you've already checked out those two, you're ready for number three and it's going to be about finances. So let's just dive into this video. <laughs> So welcome to video three in the start your business series. This video is going to be all about finances. So when you think about finances and starting a business, there's two things that you have to consider. Number one, you're going to need money to get your business off the ground. And two, if you're leaving a job to start this business, you're going to have to have money to maintain your level of living until your new business starts becoming profitable. So let's look at the first thing, uh, the money you need to actually start your business. All right. So we've been talking about having a snow cone or Italian ice, um, food truck, uh, as the business, just to give an example of something that we need to look at. If you look at the previous video on business plans, you saw that we talked about all the different types of expenses that it would take to actually start a food truck. Uh, you need to basically lay out every expense it's going to take. You, you're going to need a truck. You're going to need um, tools, uh, different type of cookware or things on the truck to actually do the actual business. So the first thing you got to think about is all of the things you need around the business to get it off the ground. So if you're going to go to a bank, they're going to ask you, well, how much money you need? And you may say $5,000. You may say $10,000. It could be more than that. But once you give them that amount, they want to know where's that money going to go. And there's lots of different things that you could use that money for. Um, if we look at our scenario that we've been using, which is an Italian ice food truck, you need a food truck. You need all of the equipment on the truck. You need insurance on, uh, on that particular truck, whether it's um, global uh, liability insurance, uh, maybe crime insurance if someone steals your truck. There's all types of things that you need and you need to lay those items out one by one. Now, if you get the money that it takes to start your business, the other piece you have to consider is how are you going to live during that time when your business hasn't started being profitable yet. If you have a regular nine to five, are you going to be able to keep that nine to five? If you don't keep that nine to five, how are you going to live if you don't have that steady income coming in? So what I tell you is that if you're looking at leaving your current job to start this particular business, you need to understand how much does it take you to live on a month to month basis? Um, when you look at other things where it talks about saving money, they talk about having an emergency fund An emergency fund and money to live month to month, two different things, emergency fund. They usually say have three to six months of your expenses tucked away in case an emergency happens. That's if you already have a job. Uh, this emergency fund is if something happens, your freezer goes out, your refrigerator goes out, something happens with your car, you need to get new tires, your emergency fund can take care of that. Now, aside from your emergency fund and you've left uh, your current paying job, you need, uh, you need money to maintain how you live during that time. So that same amount of money that you uh, got to actually have an emergency fund you may need double that until your business actually becomes profitable. So let's say it takes you 3000 a month to take care of every bill that you have, your, your house bill, 
your car bill, um, electricity, insurance for your car, um, direct TV, Netflix, whatever it is, everything that you have, you need to understand that so you know exactly what your expenses are with and without the business that you're going to start. So that's what the finance section covers. I think people need to be very thorough about this because a mistake in there could cause you a lot of stress. You know, if all of a sudden you have a bill that you didn't anticipate. Maybe you have life insurance that only comes once a year and you laid out your finances, but you didn't see that particular bill or an emergency happens where you have to get tires on your car. You didn't think about that. You know, that wasn't a bill that actually, you know, came about. Uh, one way to make sure that you cover all of the bills that you may have is if you have a debit card or a credit card or however it is that you pay for your bills on a monthly, daily basis, whatever that is, print out those statements. Print out every statement that you have for whatever card over a year's time. And then look at those bills to see which one of those items on there are going to come up again. Insurance is always going to come up. You know, groceries, you can adjust that. You know, you have certain assets, you have fixed assets, and then you have variable assets. Fixed assets are things you cannot change. So if you're in a house and you have a mortgage, you're paying a monthly bill every month. That bill is going to be the same amount every month until you get to the point of paying it off. That's a fixed asset. Your utilities, they're variable. Because during the summertime, your air condition, you know, is going to be um, expensive. But then when you look at like your heating, it's not going to be that much, you know. So depending on how your bills and things are, you have to understand what's fixed and what's variable. Variable, they adjust, you know, during different times. Uh, groceries is variable because you may say, well, I need $500 a month to get groceries. Do you need $500 every month? I don't know. Things could actually change. You can adjust the types of groceries that you buy, you know, each month. That's a variable asset. So lay out everything that you have. Get a clear picture on what your bills are so that you know, if I leave my job, I need to make sure that I have at least $3,000 a month to take care of every bill that I have and live the same way that I am right now. And then you have to understand at what point is my business going to start being profitable? Is it going to be profitable in three months, six months, 18 months? You know, whatever that is, you need to have money to carry you through that entire time until your business starts to be profitable. And then when your business is profitable, it still has to be profitable enough to take care of what your monthly expenses are. So this is a very important section. Like I said, make sure you lay out everything and understand what your finances will need to be if you keep your job or if you leave your job. And some people will be able to keep it and start their business at the same time. Other people will not. I just want you to see the big picture of everything that's going to come to play. So hopefully this video helped you out, um, you know, on how to look at your finances, the different things that you need to consider. So with your business, what type of expenses do you need to look for? Do you have something special that somebody else may not have considered? Drop a line down below and let me know. Did you get surprised when you started your business? Did I make you think about things that you might not have thought about? Hopefully this video helped you out. Please subscribe to my channel. Look for the fourth video. I won't tell you what it is because I want you to make sure you tune in and make sure you look at all four of these videos because I know there's going to be something in there that's going to be able to help you. I know it helped me when I started my business. So I'm speaking from experience with some of the things that came about when I was doing it. So hopefully it will help you. Thank you again for joining my show publishers and we look for you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.